Hey guys, it's Vest coming at you today, not with a tutorial, but a tool that I just made right now. So a challenge was presented by an IDW colorist on Twitter who wondered, is there a way to fill in the small two to three pixel wide gaps that appear in line art in Photoshop? Well, I didn't find a filter for it, and I couldn't really find anything online for it, so I figured I'd just try my hand at making an action of some sort that would handle that. So. To, uh, to run this action, let me just get some line arts right here. I just made this abstract design uh, in the course of about 10 seconds. And I put all these gaps throughout it, you know, where it intersects and stuff. And there are gaps of, you know, three pixels wide, two pixels wide, four or five pixels wide. And this one addresses gaps that are only two to three pixels wide, because if it's any larger, it could really affect the line art in very negative ways, like areas where there's a lot of overlap and stuff right here. It just wouldn't work very well. So to run this action, uh, you got to open your actions window, which can be found here. So under window, go to actions. So I just had that open, so showing where it was. And then as soon as you download the action, I have the download link in uh, the YouTube in the YouTube video description below. You go to this little arrow right here. Let me pull this over here. So there's this arrow right here. And when you click it, you can go to load actions. And then you can find wherever you downloaded the action to. And once you select it, it'll put it up in here. So as soon as you have it up here, just make sure you have your lines layer selected and make sure that you have your white background layer visible. So this works either with, you know, black alpha lines like I have here. It works if you have the lines and the uh, white background uh, visible if they're merged into a single layer. So the lines and the white background are on the same layer. It works all the same way. Uh, really important to note though, it would not work if you have black and alpha lines. You have to have the white background plate present or else it's not going to work. It's going to look very muddy because it depends upon the white for making proper selections and to smart, uh, to smart detect all these small gaps right here. So once you have this all selected, you have the lines layer selected, make sure that you don't have anything selected either. So just make sure that you, uh, have your selection deselect, like, you know, any selection like this. You don't want that because it'll mess it up. So nothing selected, black lines present, white background plate present, and all you do is you just play it like this. So just play, and there we go. You'll see that it creates a new, a new layer right here, and if I toggle it selection, you'll see that there are these little lines that now appear where the gaps were. And these lines are only applying to gaps that are three pixels wide maximum. Anything wider than three pixels, it does not detect. So it's not gonna mess up your lines where there's like high detail like this. It's not gonna affect it at all. It's only where the gaps are. So anyway, hopefully you find this tool useful and uh, hopefully it saves you a lot of time on it. And uh, f hopefully, you know, like gaps like this that are big enough, hopefully there aren't so many of them in the line art that you have that it becomes a problem. But anyway, let me know if this, uh, if this tool helps you out. And I'll uh, catch you guys later. Thank you for your time.